Hello, and welcome to this. Um, I'm going to share with you, <laughs> I usually do tutorials, so I almost said tutorial, but it's not a tutorial. I wanted to share with you some um, tools that uh, I have found to be of great value, um, specifically a, a ruler, if you will. And I would like to show you, I mentioned in our last tutorial that um, some WYSIWYG editors have a button for tables and I wanted to demonstrate that for you as well. So as you can see I'm on the page right now it's uh, called I think it's called Spadix S as in Sam, P as in Paul, A, D as in dog, I, X, B as in boy, D as in dog, dot com. And it's a free utility um, you can download it it's a very small file I have one, and I really have found great value in it. Um, the, uh, as you can see, I have it in a um, vertical uh, alignment right now, which is sometimes you find that you do have to measure something uh, vertically. Um, it's um, wonderful. You can uh, adjust it by sliding this little slider up and down. Now, if you put your cursor somewhere on the ruler and right click you'll see that you have this little menu and it says flip pixels inches picas centimeters now most usually things on uh, the web when you're measuring are usually in pixels okay so <laughs> except for <laughs> well anyway uh, but I'm going to flip it and I'm going to have a horizontal one now and you can just uh, put your cursor over it and drag it wherever you need it and like I said this little slider will increase the size now um, I'm going to take it down this is about as small as it will go but I want to enlarge that just a little so that you can see a little better if you find that you've taken it down um, in size as small as it will go and yet what you're trying to measure is it's just not small enough if you run your cursor over the bottom of the uh, ruler you will see that up here that it is moving and it is measuring it for you okay so that makes it very nice um, the other thing I wanted to show you was a uh, WYSIWYG from Composer and here we are and as you can see I have that left <laughs> um, okay I already have a table up but I want to show you anyway again so what you can do is you come up to the top, which is where most of these um, buttons are um, on the uh, WYSIWYGs, and it sometimes it'll say quick table or just table. So up here it says table. We're going to click on that. And uh, this is what is called usually a quick table. Okay, And it has... Um, down here it has a grid if you will and as you run your cursor over you tell it how many columns and rows that you want so this is like a six by six now if you want to be more precise with your measurements and so on you can come over here and you can insert however many um, rows how many columns um, you want and then um, as I said now normally when you're measuring on the web you do pixels but I have found that it is easier sometimes to go with a percentage of the window size just because <laughs> uh, it just it makes it a little easier than trying to figure out the pixels because I mean 75 pixels really isn't that large I mean it sounds huge but <laughs> well we could get our, our I could get our wet our measurement up here and here would be roughly, there's 75 pixels right there. Oh, that's 80 pixels. Oh, no, that's not. <laughs> but as you can see, 75 would be very small. So anyway, so we minimize it again. And um, anyway, so then you can put a border around your table if you so desire. And I'm going to put a, um, a four-point border around it. I don't know if that's in... I don't know how that's measured. I <laughs> just always call it a four point. Uh, it goes back to the days of layout artist as a with the newspaper. <laughs> anyway, and then here's the cell, and this is where you can um, 
a line horizontally or vertically. You can tell it to uh, wrap your text so that if you're typing in a column, instead of just stopping at the end of the column and to continue it on the next line, you would wrap it around. So on that tab, uh, and that goes back to the days of <laughs> typewriters, sorry about that. Uh, and then your cell spacing. Now your cell spacing is between the rows and the columns and the border. And I don't know if this, uh, will I can show you how this goes or not here, but we're going to try it. Anyway, so if we go over to advanced edit, you'll see everything that I just did. And this is a little bit uh, much for me, so I just don't even go there. <laughs> so we're going to say OK, and there is our table. As you can, yes, it looks, uh, it looks almost like buttons on the tabs, on the columns and the rows here. So that's what your cell spacing and your cell padding does, it, it between these boxes, if you will. And uh, it makes it really nice. Uh, to Sometimes you want that to stand out a little bit better. Now, it, we're going to go over to the Eversoft uh, first edition 2006. And I know I said Eversoft first edition. I'm sorry, my mistake. It's Eversoft first page 2006. Sorry about that. And here's where you can download it. Okay, so on this editor, uh, if we come up again to the top, we again see the table tab or the table button. And if we come straight down from that, we'll see a little tiny one where we can create table um, that we can use. Now I want to point out just for a moment here that this one has rulers already on it, which makes it very nice when you're trying to position something um, on onto your um, page, but yet you sometimes will still need your ruler to come in and, and measure. But now you can turn this uh, ruler off or on, which again makes it very nice. Um, up here, like I said, here is your create table. We're going to create table. And here again, this is very similar to what I was just showing you on the other one. Uh, we're going to come up here and we're going to, uh, you have little arrows to up and down so we can increase that. And um, for your columns, okay, again, your table width. And I'm going to go a percentage, 75%. My border width, I'm going to have at a four point again. My cell spacing, I'm going to go five, which I think I had on the last one. Now, as you can see, I, I don't know, it doesn't really show here too well. But now, if you want to be even more detailed, there is a tab right here that says Extended. And what you do is you click on that, and you can actually give your table a caption. So it would be right here. And you could tell it where to, uh, how to align that, whether it's in the center of the table or whatever. You can also set the background properties, which is very nice, which is your color. And then you can, if you click on that, then you have this uh, come up and, uh, oh, let's go green. <laughs> and we're going to apply that and say OK. And then if you have a background image, of course, you could always put that in there. You go to your hard drive and pick up an image if you so desire. So anyway, so your border color, you can also change that. So like if you don't want black, but let's say, let's go, uh, just because it will show up easily, uh, we'll go that color. And then you can use light or dark borders. And um, you can say a light border. Uh, if you have like a, a, a dark table, then you can, you, of course you would want to use a lighter color just to make it stand out. But anyway, so that's how you could do that. And um, uh, so then if we click OK, let's just see what happens. There it is. So that makes it kind of cool. And um, like I said, there is, you can see the padding here a little bit better. Uh, it's, it's not so run together. And that's, and there's my caption. <laughs> 
And um, then you can manipulate it into where you want it positioned onto your uh, page. So I hope you find these tools of use, and I thank you for watching.